hey guys and welcome back to another video and on this particular video i'm going to talk about something that uh, is not really related to the kind of videos that i do uh, it's about an app to um, arrange and organize your pictures and to make um, more use of the pictures that uh, that you have so if you love photography if you have a huge amount of photos uh, either digital or if you are scanning them old pictures to bring to your library I think this will be a, an interesting video on the downside this is uh, only for Mac systems OS 10 uh, on Windows um, this particular app will not uh, will not work um, so and I, I'm a Windows and I've talked about this uh, previously I'm a Windows user since since I remember uh, I do love both systems Windows and OS 10 but uh, for all these years I didn't find a way uh, at least the way that I'm using right now uh, for me to organize and keep all my pictures uh, family photos uh, on one place with a nice uh, GUI and uh, GUI <laughs> and uh, to well to better than talking I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm talking about so for this you will need OS 10 and the application is um, iPhoto which I'm going to open it up right now and I'm gonna bring it on screen here okay so I've got my Mac since about uh, more than a year now and uh, about two three months ago I can't precise that I'd give it a shot to this app iPhoto and instantaneously I fell in love with this application which is simple it comes free on your Mac and um, it's just great I'm not radical uh, to say hey go get yourself a Mac so you can have this application but one of the things that the Mac system have is is not just hardware it's it's a lot of software as well when you pay that price it's a lot of software uh, you get a lot of uh, nice free apps that if you make use of them you will enjoy a lot uh, which I'm doing so and this is uh, uh, so easy to work with this this program so intuitive that one of the things that I've managed to do is now I deliver this to my wife's um, responsibility <laughs> so she's the one managing our photos now uh, so I don't have to spend time doing that not that is a boring thing I love to see uh, our photos but uh, it gives me a little bit more free time and she does that management because this software is really easy now Windows uh, platform there might be some um, softwares out there that will work uh, great for your photo organization and for photo usage I give it a shot a few times over these years and I didn't find um, a software that I, I really enjoyed I tried Picasa, I tried I don't know a few ones free and paid and um, didn't really like um, the feel and the, the look of it and the utilities now on this one uh, and if we go to our to my screen <laughs> Uh, at the moment I'm watching this as events and I'm gonna run you through um, how this works uh, my favorite one is faces where I can keep everything organized with uh, my children my wife myself my well my family then my friends uh, I could have much more here but I decided to organize this with the the closest people to us people that we re regularly uh, take pictures with and so well it's just great and I can share these pictures with my friends as well um, either I can send them by email or when they come home here to have dinner or something like that um, I can show them instantaneously a, a slideshow of their pictures uh, well let's cover a bit of that so there's the events there's the photos where we organize things there's the faces and then there's the places which is the one that I use less but uh, nonetheless it's nice to and <laughs> keep in mind that I don't have all the photos identified they're just a few ones and as you can see I'm not a guy that travels a lot <laughs> I keep my feet very uh, well very close to where I live nonetheless um, let's do 
let's see how this is organized. So if I go to, uh, I can go to an event and the way that I arranged my pictures is by ear. Uh, once you drag the pictures inside, which I'm going to do that with another, um, another library, I'm going to create a library just so you can see how it works. Uh, once you, you bring the pictures inside, you can select where you want to, pay, uh, to put that pictures. Uh, so in 2014, I've got uh, all our pictures from 2014 since this one was taken uh, the end of the New Year's Eve at the friend's house. Uh, wow. So when our youngest son was born and if I drag down, it's going to give me an indication March, April, May and so on and so forth. And there we go. So I've got this pictures organized here by events. Uh, I can go to any year that I want. There are some pictures that, um, for example, these here, these were scanned, these pictures, very old pictures where I was a uh, very young student and uh, I don't know how you call this uh, procedures, was, bah, doesn't matter. So I scanned them um, and then rearranged them here and here we go. Now, as I was saying, my favorite one is uh, the faces. So if, if a friend of mine comes in, uh, or my brother, for instance, here he is, and if I want to uh, give him all these pictures very easily, I just go to File, Export. Uh, I can select the quality of the export that I want. If I want the full size, uh, the original actual full size and whatnot, and I can just export all these pictures in a snap to one of the folders and it can take to to his home. Uh, another thing that is great is the connection with the iCloud, for example, um, where I'm, I take a few pictures on my iPhone or my wife's iPhone. Uh, I don't have any more the share of my wife here uh, because this library here is outdated already. I transferred everything to the my wife's iMac that you already saw on the channel. So this is outdated library. This library will be deleted from my Mac Mini. Um, but I wanted to show you this before I deleted the, the library. So uh, we take the pictures. You don't, have an, you don't even have to have uh, an iPhone. You can have any other, iPhone, um, any other sorry, smartphone and you can arrange the way to synchronize photos here. Uh, regarding backups, I've got three types of backups which are really easy and intuitive. I've got the backup of the iPhoto library itself, it's just, just one file. I've got the backup and that I can show you here. Uh, after I had my, um, my iPhoto selection library complete, uh, I exported all the files into folders um, so I could keep that backup as well. And this is what I'm showing here on screen. So all the folders that I have on, uh, on the iPhoto, I've got a, a backup here. I can just open it up and I've got all my original pictures with uh, the numbers that I give at that point. Um, or no, these were the numbers that I selected to export, yeah. Um, so I've got this backup. I've got a backup of my file uh, the iPhoto library, this is important. You should not uh, make a backup of your iPhoto to a NAJ DEFIS like I do. Uh, with the exact iPhoto library, you should compress it to a zip file. Because what I've read is that iPhoto library has a special way uh, of working and if, it, uh, if it's stored in a um, um, in a different uh, file system format, it can damages it can damage the library. So, uh, so backups. I've got the iPhoto library zipped, and on my NAS, I've got this folder here backup zipped, and on my NAS, and then I've got the Time Machine working, and besides that, I've got and this I will show you on screen uh, a Flickr account. <coughs> And this Flickr account is private, is not shared with anyone except my family. Um, Flickr you will have one terabyte free of storage, so one terabyte is a lot of pictures. And what I do is just, um, if I want to update, if I go to photos or to events and I select 2014 and for example, if I select here share, 
let me select another picture that I'm sure it was shared already share if I select Flickr okay probably these ones are not uploaded yet I'm not sure um, let me bring in the yeah it is I can see here it's published um, to the album 2014 so if I miss track this one are published as well these are published all these are published on the on the iPhoto library so if anything happens to my computer to my NAS to <laughs> if the, the house burns uh, hopefully not um, I still get a full backup in Flickr so I can download all my pictures in the full quality um, which is quite quite nice and so I've got multiple uh, backups of my pictures now which are valuable you cannot put money on this you cannot get a value for your pictures because you will not get another chance to get some pictures that uh, that you have and you know what I mean uh, if you are watching this is because you have interest in photography so you, you understand what I mean um, so regarding backups this is one way that I found really easy to use uh, another thing is you can export any picture here directly to Facebook or to whatever social network you want I just have my Facebook account here um, with my albums uh, yeah I don't want to save right now uh, with my albums which I and you can retrieve from uh, Facebook to your PC as well so you've got your all albums over here um, okay more things how do this thing uh, all work I even got uh, an old picture of my office my office wasn't <laughs> like this a few years ago it's been growing and growing and growing over over the years so but I will make a video I've been having requests for a video to uh, a video tour of my office I will make that and I will talk about that in another video so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close uh, I'm gonna quit iPhoto and I'm gonna open iPhoto while holding alt and this will give me this menu here which can um, I can select I can have several libraries uh, which is not uh, very easy to manage several libraries I prefer to have just one organized but just one but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a new library and I'm gonna call this uh, video video YouTube okay uh, it's gonna stay on pictures okay save and right now I've got a empty iPhoto library okay so let's say I want to bring start bringing some pictures and I want to bring some pictures from 2010 I don't know and I'm gonna bring a few I'm just gonna put this on the other screen uh, I'm gonna select photos here let me bring these okay so I've got this pictures it will take me uh, to last import which doesn't matter to me so I go to events or I can go to photos but let's go to events and in here I can call this uh, 2010 okay so I've got this event created uh, and now let's say that I want to bring another another set of pictures and I'm going to bring from another okay so I forgot to events I've got a new event right now and this event if I click and if I press info it's very intuitive it will show me photos from two, uh, 29 9 uh, 2009 until 31 10 2009 total of 10 pictures so I can just name this event to 2009 okay here we go so we have events we have our photos which are organized like this so we can browse around and we will go to the faces in a, in a little bit so regarding events now let me try something here I'm gonna mix up um, I'm gonna mix up some pictures so 2014 I'm gonna grab a few and I'm gonna copy I know you're not watching I'm doing this on the other screen so but what I'm doing is um, I'm gonna 
mix pictures from 2014 with pictures from let me see from 2007 maybe okay so let's bring a few okay copy now I'm not sure if I did try this before but um, it's always a good time to try something different for the channel so what I did now was this folder here with pictures from 2007 with pictures 2014 I'm gonna bring all of them and see how I thought it will work with them so I'm gonna bring it they're imported if I go to events or photos I've got a yeah it will place me on the same folder so I've got uh, pictures from uh, the information will give me 9 June of 2007 till 1 June 2014 so if I select these let me check which one are the last one from 2007 will be this one so if I select all these and bring it to another event maybe Okay, so bear with me this is the first time I'm doing this mixing pictures so I would like to see how it works um, now I know I can bring to these I want this to be 2007 let me see if I can create new 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 But if I bring one picture, one more from 2007, it will create me a new event. And uh, this event I'm going to call it 2007, and the other one 2014. So this might, uh, at the beginning, this might seem a little bit weird, but for me it's working just great. And these I'm going to drag to 2007. Now, all of these that I just dragged, as you can see, the software organized by um, dates. And if I go to events, I've got the same here. Okay, so this is basically the workflow of, um, of photos, iPhoto, sorry. Um, now I can do other things. Let's say that I've got a lot of pictures here and I would like to select four particular ones and create uh, or go to file new album and select very important okay so besides having all the photos here I have a album here called very important so I know that I've, these four photos are very important I don't want to miss them uh, on the middle of the other pictures uh, these are still on the album 2014 and this is not a duplicate it's just a shortcut we can call it a shortcut uh, you can create here albums books so you can print books as well uh, you can create slideshows one of the great things is the slideshow and so I will show you in a few seconds or a few minutes um, now let's go to faces faces is a great great um, way to organize your pictures and one of my favorites as I said on the beginning so if I go here I know this is my son Daniel I'm gonna select Daniel uh, by default is going to give me these uh, names which are from Facebook or from your contacts uh, and so Daniel I can call Josh which is my oldest son here Daniel and I can just search for George if I want. Daniel George. Here it's me. So I'm not going to tag all these. This one is Vera, a friend of mine, but she lives very far away from here. So we only have a few pictures. So I can keep on show more photos and disable the ones that I don't want to, to show 
and the ones that I want to keep tagging Danielle now it's giving me right on the first place Laura which is our cousin and you can keep on doing this now as you can see here uh, I photo is already started to match up some of the pictures uh, some of the faces and he already recognized my face in this particular picture so uh, the more tags of people you have in your pictures the more chances you will get that automatically it will show um, the face of the pic of, of the person that is the identifying and saying hey is this uh, the person X or Y and you just have to say in this case yes or no if it wasn't the case for instance here it hasn't recognized my son yet uh, this will be something like a training <clears throat> Now, if I close this up and go continue to faces, what I have here is right now already three persons identified. So you can zoom in or zoom out depending on the, how many pictures you have, and this will give a great a great look for your picture organization. Um, that's why this is one of my favorites. Now, places you will have to identify the pictures. Uh, so if I go to assign a place let's say this was in Quarteira now if you are, if you take your pictures with the smartphone it will identify automatically if you take with the DSLR with the GPS function it will uh, in my case uh, my cameras none of them has GPS only my smartphone so if I go and select um, and I could even select a bunch of um, pictures let's say 20 pictures from the same site just select all of them and then assign a place so pretty easy to, to, to do that so if I go to places right now it will show me a spot here right on the as you can see we are in Portugal <laughs> right here we've got one picture taken right here uh, so if you spend some time doing this and sorry organizing all your uh, pictures it will be uh, well worth it so this is the way that uh, iPhoto works when you put in a SD card it automatically sees that its photos will open iPhoto you can disable that if you want but it will open iPhoto uh, and this was the reason that I, I tried iPhoto and searching my SD card so many times on Mac mini keeps on opening iPhoto iPhoto and I said I don't want this software uh, I want to do the old way which was similar to this uh, stop import, I'm importing the old album which was similar to what I've got here I've got a folder with a bunch of photos even if they are organized how can I enjoy those photos how can I take uh, advantage of those photos share with my family um, enjoy them just which is the most important we take a lot of photos and then we really realize that what are we doing with the photos besides printing some and having in, in the house but we don't do much more than that and in this case we are enjoying a lot more of the pictures um, and if I, I I'm gonna close this instance of uh, iPhoto and I'm gonna bring up iPhoto and alt so I can select my uh, main library again one of the things that I really enjoy is the the abili ability of making a a slideshow on the go as you know I do After Effects uh, templates I do Apple Motion templates Cinema 4D etc etc I know how to create a slideshow from scratch original without any, any template just an inspiration but from time to time all you want is a I want to watch uh, some photos and uh, in a different manner so if I go to let's go to faces and I want to select my youngest one and I press play it's gonna give me that beach ball still have the HDD on the Mac Mini at the moment I don't have the SSD connected so let me just oh sorry that's not what I wanted what I want is remove the soundtrack you can select any soundtrack you can play uh, a lot of um, a lot of pictures during the slideshow and actually what's funny this particular slideshow here 
I've got a template very similar to this one. And when I create, well, you believe if you want, but when I created that template, I even had a Mac Mini by then. Uh, I created a template very, very similar to to what we are seeing here, but with more titles and without any limits. Um, and after seeing this, I said, hey, I've got an After Effects template, <laughs> just very similar to this. Uh, but I didn't know when I created that, that this even existed. So, as you can see, you can enjoy your photos in, um, in a heartbeat uh, without rendering. This is, uh, this is real time uh, making the pictures. Now, regarding this, I have to say that there is a downside. If you want to render a slideshow like this, uh, regardless of the machine, you can have a new Mac Pro or something like that with the pff, eight cores. Uh, iPhoto will take a lot of time to render a, a simple slideshow. So if you make a slideshow of three, four hundred uh, pictures, you will get roughly six hours, seven hours, something like that. I don't know. I left it over the, overnight to, to, to try it out. I only rendered one in iPhoto, only one. Uh, but the advantage of this is, and that's why I bought some this thing here and I did an overview on the channel. Is sitting there uh, the idea was to share these to the living room uh, the live slideshow and for that I think I don't know when but uh, I think I will have to get a Apple TV which is a good idea but for me it's just for this uh, which is a waste of money on Apple TV I don't like the Apple TV so if I buy it will be just for <laughs> this capability of sharing um, the screen over there through my uh, cable network. So this is one of the things that is very, very um, intuitive, very, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, it's just great. It's just great. Don't uh, And bear in mind, I'm not a, a Mac or Apple fanboy. I'm not a Windows fanboy. I use whatever uh, and I buy whatever I need according to uh, my tastes, of course. So I'm not a fanboy of either sides. I use both sides whether I need to use a Mac or whether I need to use a Windows and so on and so forth. But this here, I have to give it to, uh, to Apple iPhoto. Now, I was considering buying the Aperture 3, which is uh, the same uh, GUI, uh, GUI, Guided User Interface, I think, uh, I think that's the, what it stands for. Um, the same interface, but it has a few more options to um, to enhance your your photo. So uh, I can show you an example here. If I go to any of the pictures, let's show. Unless um, let's go to this one here, my kid, and I can even see in here uh, comments that I had from Facebook, and I can add a comment here uh, directly. But uh, if I go to edit, I can. Uh, enhance this picture let's say if I press the enhance it will correct well at least the things that correct uh, you can retouch uh, sizes you can uh, go to effects and let's say lighten or darken warmer cooler and then you can play around with filters sepia antique matte you can make all these uh, effects revert to original. Um, what else we've got here? Adjustments. You can play around with the exposures, um, with contrasts, saturation. Of, mm. So you can do a lot of things here. Um, and let's reverse to original because I tend to leave as much as possible the original picture. Okay, camera just stopped, <laughs> sorry about that. So um, I was saying that if I need to retouch a, a picture, uh, usually I go to Photoshop, but if I had more options here, uh, that would save me a lot of time. So that's why I thought Aperture 3, um, but a few weeks ago, uh, we saw Apple released uh, saying that Aperture 3 will be discontinued. So there's a lot of things going on. Uh, the new app will release in 2015, uh, which will be Photos, I think that's the name. Uh, it's going to replace these. Hopefully I can have the same uh, workflow and added 
uh, effects and, and, and workflow and, and whatnot. So uh, I will be waiting until until Apple releases what they are going to release with uh, Yosemite or after Yosemite. Yosemite will be in September. Uh, what else would I like to share with you besides uh, this? So photos, events, faces. Uh, now let's say, and this can be a quick one, let's say I want to export this album here so I just go to file, export and full size, use file name uh, yeah, sequential prefix if you want to, to say any prefix before, let's say Martin before the numbers, subfolder format, doesn't matter, JPEG quality, maximum so full size this uh, this is regardless if we choose full size there's no problem so if i'm going to export just select the desktop and i'm going to create a new folder test my photo create and press ok so it will be preparing the photos and then start to uh, export the images and if i go to photos test i photo folder is already exporting all those photos to a folder which you can then um, do whatever you want give it to a friend uh, save it make a backup of your original um, pictures and this is it so I'm gonna cancel this cancel uh, the great advantage is before I use the iPhoto uh, and I'm gonna show you my folder again it was roughly this that I had uh, and of course I could come here and open up and just uh, open a picture and well, like this open a picture and just scroll down and watch the pictures and see uh, no, 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 a lot of pictures but it was not very intuitive so this was a very this this was our one uh, well very old house uh, not old house but um, my grandparents' house uh, okay it doesn't matter and um, point is right now I can enjoy all my pictures in a different way I can go to here and just check or my favorite one which is the slideshows and uh, well which is great. So, I think I didn't, well, there's much more than this, but I'm already, the camera stopped, so I'm over 30 minutes. Um, there's more you can uh, try and figure it out. I'm just, I just regret that I didn't try, uh, that I didn't try earlier. Uh, now this little app, which is free, is managing all our uh, pictures. And as you saw, I've got it on Flickr, so I can have pictures on my iPhone, my wife's iPhone, or iPad, or any other device, even not, I've got a, and right here, I've got a, which probably doesn't have, yeah, no battery, but this is a Samsung uh, tablet. You just have to download the Flickr app, and you will get all your pictures there. So if you wanna go, you wanna say, you wanna see some pictures, and uh, you have everything there, so, Great way. Besides backup, Flick is a great tool to integrate um, to integrate here. And uh, all in all, what I would like to say is it's not. Um, uh, and and there's another options on the Windows side of things. Don't rush up to buy a Mac just for this. Uh, but I have to give this for the uh, the OS 10 and the Mac system that they've got a great app for. Photography. Now, you might say, hey Robert, but in Windows side you've got Adobe's Lightroom uh, and uh, well, a lot of a lot of other softwares. And to be honest, I've tried a few. I don't know all of them. There must be endless softwares out there. I don't know all of them. Uh, but in my personal experience, this one was the one that I found the more pleasant to use. And for those that already use iPhoto, I'm not giving you any, <laughs> any news, uh, but for those that haven't tried, and if you have a Mac at home and haven't tried the iPhoto, don't do like me. I, I waited almost a year after having my Mac to use iPhoto, um, and now I'm loving it, so 
so does my wife and my kids when we start playing a slideshow where we, <laughs> we went somewhere and uh, wow it's just great so guys this is a video of topic of the regular topics that we talk here about uh, this one is more about some app that you will use for your family photos or even your professional photos organization um, especially for organization and backup it's a great tool well if we talk about uh, enhancement of the pictures now I have to give that to Adobe Lightroom or other um, similar similar I, I think Coral has a great software as well I'm not sure about the organization um, but um, on this case I have to give it to, to Mac and I will uh, say to anyone that wants to organize if you if you have a Mac system just boom, iPhoto you will not regret it for sure I did not and um, hopefully if you have any other software that you want to suggest just drop a line below not just for me but for anyone that watches the video and, and tries to organize pictures uh, I'm limited here I know this software I know a couple of others that I'm not gonna mention because it's no point didn't like them uh, but hey just state there hey there's this software on the Windows platform that is great you might want to check it out we will check it out I will and some of the the readers will or, or the subscribers will also check it out and see what they like so there are more options everybody wins I did my part I shared this with you really glad uh, using this and I just wish that Windows had the same um, app which is impossible this is <laughs> but if it had the same app we could cross platform between uh, uh, Windows and PC and uh, Macs and pff, that will be really really uh, great I'm gonna shut up guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video thumbs up sorry if I took too long to say just a couple of things but uh, that's the way I do videos you already know me by now <laughs> if you don't uh, get used to it so bye bye my name is Roberto George and see you next uh, next video <laughs> bye bye